Hi folks, I'm Matt and welcome to My Expanded Universe, a show where I go through the entire EU in chronological order as best I know how. Folks, we're going to stay talking about the Star Wars Adventure Journals here and the first one we're going to talk about is Star Wars Adventure Journal 10. It's called The Capture of the Imperial Hazard, written by Nora Mayers. Now in this, Sayer Manila, who is an old Republic Senator, she's retired now, uh, she's helping out during a rebel evacuation when suddenly the Imperials show up. And all that she knows how to do is give the rebels time to escape by stalling the Imperials. You know, by holding concert with the Imperial, the captain of the uh, Star Destroyer. And it's, again, I mentioned this in the last episode, but perspective. We see a different perspective here. This retired senator is not a great pilot. They're not force sensitive. What do they have that they can offer the rebellion now? Besides, you know, wise in leadership? No, I'm a politician. I can stall. I do this in the Senate all the time. Why not do it here in real life? And it made for a very interesting, what I thought, a very good story. Because once again, we were seeing things not from the eyes of this young rebel agent, you know, who's ready to take, take, put their fist up against the Empire, but someone from the old Republic who doesn't feel they have much to offer, but does what they do best. Politic. And it just, uh, there, there, uh, there's another twist, not, not really a twist, but the ending is really nice too. Uh, a lot of times the Star Wars Adventure Journal had some solid hits. And I, I won't get into creativity again because I talked about it last time. But again, look at how creative this is to think of a just a just they challenge you to think different, come up with different stories about the rebellion, not just a rebel cell, even though that was fine. We had plenty of those. But again, the unique perspectives that West End Games deliver to their fiction, phenomenal. On the exact opposite side of that though, I'm gonna talk about a Patricia Jackson short story <laughs> called Idle Intentions. It was in the Star Wars Adventure Journal issue number 12, and it talks about Drake Paulson and Nakade as they are hired to deliver a crystal skull to a Twi'lek clan. Yes, this is the same crystal skull that was in the Indiana Jones movie. Just kidding. No, it wasn't. But here once again, I. I a lot of people love Patricia Jackson. I am in the minority, okay? This is another opinion here that is very unpopular or was unpopular on the forums. I was just, I just did not see what people saw in Paula, uh, Patricia Jackson. It seemed to me that she was someone who loved to write sci-fi but knew nothing about Star Wars. So what she did, she took her sci-fi story, slapped on some Star Wars names for familiarity, and then gave us a story about a crystal skull. I mean, come on. Hey, do you think George read this short story? And that's why he said, hmm, that would be a good Indiana Jones story. Geez, I hope not, but you never can tell, right? All right, anyway, so the next one, and the last one I'm gonna talk about is written by Paul Danner. It was in the Star Wars Adventure Journal issue number 13, and it's called The Last Hand. Now, in this, farm boy Nio, he wants to be a Jedi. So what he does is he gets someone to take him to Narshada so he can buy a lightsaber on the black market there's a few, you know, hidden Jedi in the wings here, some Force stuff that I've poo-pooed on for other authors for writing. This one I don't mind as much because, yeah, Farm Boy, this is just basically Luke, you know, well, I wouldn't say 2.0, you know, 0 0.5. <laughs> he's, he's not as interesting as Lou. But if you're going to get a lightsaber, where do you find one? You go to the black market on Narshada. I like that. That, to me, makes a lot of sense. Because, you know, a young kid with, you know, dream, delusions of grandeur, let's say, to coin the phrase that Star Wars loves to say about Luke. But he has delusions of grandeur, and maybe I'll be a Jedi, but I need a saber. I can't build my own because no one knows how to do that. So I'll just go on the black market and see if I can order one off eBay. I mean, you know, the black market on Narshada. I get that. I get that. I can see that. So even though this one is not as good, and by the way, uh, Paul Paul Danner, I do like a lot of his other stuff that he's written. Um, this one's okay. It's not a bad story. Like I said, you see essences of Luke, but it's Luke without the help of Obi-Wan. He has a much 
lesser Obi-Wan. Can I even say that about the other character? Anyway, I don't really talk much about the uh, story because it is a short story, but it is decent for what it's worth. All right, folks, that is all the time I have for now. See you next time with another video.